Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and to another garage fabrication project. So, in this video I'm going to address the run out on my lathe because it's quite bad. So, let's see now. Run out is where the chuck doesn't run well run out on the chuck is where it's not running straight so I can put some material some stock in here turn it down t flip it round turn it down again and you don't end up with a perfect I'll show you in a minute but basically not in that gear. I if you can see it's actually wobbling a little bit, it looks to be wobbling. Well that's no good for turning things down. But I've got, my first problem is lights don't working. So I can't see what I'm doing anyway, so I've got to mend that first. So I'll do that. Got a new light bulb, but when did you ever see one of them? It's like a fluorescent, it's like out of a caravan or something. So, try the fuse. If the fuse doesn't work, I've got another light. Look at that for an old fuse, made in England. I burnt through my Ami the other day, and I've got me Avo. Anyway, I think batteries are fine now. So, so I'm going to try the fuse in a different machine. Fuse works, I know it's the light. Up. What is going on there? All right, I'm ready to plug on the grinder and I've put the fuse in off the light. So if that still works. Yeah, not wrong with fuse. That took 20 minutes. So now I've got to get another light for the lathe. This might be a bit OP, but it's all I've got. Uh, 20 watts, so it's not going to use a lot of power.
This is what happens when it's just your hobby. You start a job in the morning, so I was going to start addressing the run out on that chuck and then the light blue. Fortunately I had a spare one, but now I'll address the run out on the chuck. See if you can see this chuck wobbling up and down. Yeah, not without it being plugged in you. Okay, so it's got some issues. This cast bit. So the cast bit that goes on the spindle of the lathe and then onto the chuck, that's got some issues. If we have a look here, For instance, this hole is not round for a start, and also it encroaches into that lip there more than the other three, more than the other two. <coughs> so, what I think I'm going to do is true it up, put it back on the lathe, true it up, get it running true. Look at all that, that shoulder there supposed to locate into that recess tight it's not tight so I'm gonna put put it back on the lathe now true it up with a dial gauge then tighten these tighten these back up then I'll drill two new holes one there and one there or whatever drill and tap them and put some countersunk tap some countersunk bolts into it. Okay, so I've got the dial gauge and I'll just check this bit I've machined off. That's good that. Unfortunately, it's the bit that I've got a bolt to, so it's irrelevant. But never mind. We come over to this bit now, and we've got to get the face plate off the machine, bolt it to here, and then get this running true. Okay, I'm not use I'm not going to use the dial gauge straight away because needle will be bouncing all over the place. Use a magnet to start with. Um, just put that there. Get it lined up under there. 
and then it's just a matter of making sure there's a neat a consistent gap between the bottom of the chuck and the magnet so there's a gap of about half a millimeter and then that's nothing I'll lift that up and tighten it it's a bit tight there I'd say that's near enough for that. So I'm just taking an educated guess on where to drill the holes because there's a grub suit back of there must hold this worm gear in. So I'm just sort of going there, hoping I'm in the middle of I know there's I probably I probably could go there, but I think we're alright because it's looks like it's solid steel up up there. So I'll put one in there and then one in about there. That's the two holes drilled. What happened now? Better check the chuck still works. Yep. Everything's still in order. Aye.
That's good. Then to drill them counter sunk. Do again now. So no, let's have a look now. Ah, that's not bad. Three thoughts. That's not bad at all. Loads better than it were. So yeah, I'm happy with that, guys. Yes, it's miles better than it were. So yeah, suited with that, and it's not wobbling up and down now. So yeah, great. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like it, and also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.